Hi everybody, I'm David Baber, and today I'll show you how to use a translator that's called Google Lens. And Google Lens is actually built into the Google Chrome browser, so you can essentially open any website on Google Chrome, and you can highlight text on the website and translate it into another language. And it also features a, a speaking ability where it'll play back the audio. So there's uh, several uses for Google Trend or Google Lens, excuse me. So here's how Google Lens works. So I'm going to use an example here from the Five Pond Science textbook. And so I'm going to click on the student ebook without audio. Okay, and I'm going to open it up to one of the pages here. And the way Google Trends or Google Lens, excuse me, works is you just go anywhere on the page right here. You can see the cursor. I'm going to right click and then you'll select where it says search images with Google. All right. So now what you're going to do is highlight with the, uh, the icon turns into a plus sign. So you can highlight this entire page just like that. Now, as soon as you highlight it, if you look over on the right side of the screen, you can um, expand it. It may sometimes that uh, may not hold, but if the image for some reason shrinks, just drag it out by the corners so that you get the whole page. Now, under that, come down to where it says translate. And the left side is the language that the book is in. So it, it automatically detects the language. So it picked up English. Now, in this example, we're going to translate it to Spanish. So I'm going to click on the right side over here, and then we're going to scroll down and change it to Spanish. And then, as you can see now, I'm going to move my picture out of the way and come over to this side. There we go. Now, you can see under here where it has translated it. So if you look in the uh, Click translate, it's already happened. So all the text from the book is translated into Spanish in this case right here. Now I mentioned that it has a, a text to speech built in. So if you click listen right here, you can see that it reads back to you the translated text. And then anytime you want to do another one, you can just uh, do another translation of another page. You can simply just X out of this little browser on the right, the box here, and you can um, go to another page and then just simply repeat the process. Right click, search images with Google, and then just drag across the screen and get the page that you want. And then here it is on the right side. Now this time the picture stayed in place to keep the whole page. And then you just click translate. And then change it to your language that you wanna to go to. And there you go, all translated for you, this page right here. So that's an option that you can use on pretty much any Google Chrome website. So if you have any questions, just email me at dbaber at wcs.k12.va.us.